So guys, are you missing the VGC service from your PC like it's not appearing in the servicing uh, services tab over here? Like in my case, it's appearing but in your case, if it's not appearing, then this tutorial is only for you. Just watch till end. Don't miss any step and your problem should be fixed, will be fixed 100%. Now the first thing before uninstalling this Robert Vanguard uh, Robert client, you need to uh, make sure that your VGC is not disabled from system configuration. Like a lot of services are just loading on the startup, so might be while optimizing Windows or with third-party optimizers tools, it's disabled. Just type on the uh, Windows. I click on the Windows icon and type ms configurations and then go into the services hide all microsoft services and make sure this vgc is not stopped from here if it is then check this again and hit apply okay and then try to restart your pc and your problem should be fixed 100 percent your vgc will uh, relaunch but in case if it's not appearing here as well then the best solution is here just watch till end and don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel. Now the first thing you need to do here, just go into the C drive and make your Valorant backup. So you don't need to re-download the uh, Valorant again, the 32.5 or 4 GB, I guess. It's a, a big file, so it will take time if you have a slow, slow internet. Now going into the C drive and there are games just cut this Valorant folder from here and paste it here or anywhere just make a backup of this folder so it's better to um, paste it in C drive somewhere it will work uh, copying more faster and then in the Riot games uh, you will see only Riot game folder now this time just close the Riot client and right click on your Vanguard icon if it is appearing here here again i'm just mentioning this and just uninstall this vanguard now this will completely uninstall our vanguard from your computer games that um, depends on the functionality will stop working so definitely it will stop working if you are uninstalling the anti-cheat system from your game it's recommended um, for game now if it's not appearing here don't worry then it's a simple process if it is appearing here then you need to do this process after doing this go into the firewall settings in windows security and just restore it in the advanced uh, settings just restore this one plus please make sure to uninstall all the third party antivirus malware functions etc we don't need uh, no we not actually valorant don't need any third party they are not accepting the uh, vanguard it's a new anti cheat system so there's a few things that is not acceptable for other third party applications anyways just restoring this one and then if you are using any third party antivirus just make sure to uninstall all of them the avast the bit defender or any antivirus mcafe etc just uninstall all of those and then just fully update your windows okay <clears throat> now after restarting your pc what you need to do here just go into the um, again uh, c drive uninstall this folder as well okay now it's not deleting <coughs> right now because the riot vanguard is running riot client sorry so excite it from here and try again and that's it it's simple process just delete the riot client uh, riot vanguard and now go into the user and then the user <coughs> that you have created just go over there now here you need to put here slash and then type here the app data you can also open it from here just uh, windows plus r key hold it together and then percentage app data percentage sorry 
percentage hit enter once you over here find here the valorant folder if it's available in the app data local and find here the valorant folder see it's here so just delete this one as well after doing this now the first important thing you need to do here update your windows to the latest version it's important just go into the update settings check for updates and fully update your windows operating system i have already updated so it's not appearing any further update over here but in your case might be you are facing this so update your windows uh, to the latest version and also might be your update is disabled in case if it's disabled just type here the services and find here the windows update service here it is it's uh, just going to the properties by default it's on manual that's not actually important just make sure it's not disabled in case if it is disabled then make sure set it on manual and that's it hit ok and then try to update your windows after updating your windows now the process is pretty simple guys go on the website valorant uh, valorant riot games and this time we are going gonna download riot client again click on play sign in now you need to log in your account with your account after logging in just go here and you will see here the download game download now i'm gonna download this again it's around 67.5 mb now the further things you can do here if uh, your uh, tpm is on is not uh, activated from your bios make sure to enable the tpm from your bios that's important for windows 10 even uh, no matter if you are using the windows 10 uh, but in case if you are using the windows 11 then make sure to enable the both options the tpm and the uefi mode as well a lot of pupils after uh, installing the windows 11 they just disable the uefi mode from bios so it will not work just enable both options if it's happening in windows 11 probably it's a uh, lot of pupils are facing in windows 11 if your windows 11 requirement is complete fully completed then install the windows 11 otherwise go with the windows 10 now i'm just gonna reinstall it but right click on it run as administrator that's important make sure okay now it's saying 31.3 gb but don't worry we are not installing all the 31 gb we are just going further uh, just select the location your path and then click on install now okay after here on this uh, method now see it's installing the rior vanguard so at this point you need to stop your update close this one now going into the c drive just cut the valorant folder again go into the router see here it's a uh, valorant folder just replace here make sure riot games and replace it here replace the files in the destination and it's done now again just launch the riot riot client okay after launching the riot client now it will update your game if uh, there's any update available otherwise it will only install the riot vanguard uh riot Van if riot vanguard is installing properly that's mean your vgc is back now and you can play this game without having any issue now we are just waiting here now it's verifying your game plus installing your riot vanguard so we are just waiting here and once your uh, vanguard will install you will see the tray um, of a riot vanguard icon over here in the tray icons 
Okay, now the verification has been done. Now it's installing your Riot Vanguard, the anti cheat system. And after this, you need to restart your PC once. Now, every system, every uh, specification uh, installation is kind of different. Like, see, it's jumping up and down the percentage. So it's happening because it's verifying plus reinstalling your vanguard so don't worry about this sometimes it will go on zero percent in even and sometimes it will just go the further but anyways now you can see it's finished you your game required a system restart to play please restart your computer if this issue continue reach out to our player support team so i don't think so you need to reach out i'm just restarting my pc once again and then i'll show you what will appear over here so i'm pausing my uh, recording okay now i'm back and you can see here the riot vanguard is now back fully now let's launch the riot client again and you will see that there's no issue there's not available any further issue so you can play your game without having any issue and here we go you can see now just playing and now it's launching so this is the easiest method guys i hope and uh, but just you need to make sure just update your uh, windows windows 10 and if you are using the windows 11 then make sure enable the fully requirement of your windows 11 if you don't know just google it uh, or just let me know in the comment section so i'll guide you further right now it's uh, just working and that's it so i hope guys you like this video please hit the subscribe button share it with brand and if you are facing any issue just let me know in the comment section as you know i'm just replying every person as soon as possible for me Show some sport. Have a good day. Bye-bye.